Every year, students, faculty, and guest artists from across the CSU, the country, and even the world gather to immerse themselves in the life-changing experience of summer arts. We'll let them tell you what it's like. Intense training and it feels like boot camp. Well, it certainly makes me feel uncomfortable and I have these flashback dreams of being in college again and failing the exam and I, I thought when I got my doctorate degree I'd never take another class in my life. There is no learning environment that I have ever encountered that approaches what summer arts is. Die with honor and glory. It's just as much fun to die. Use both. It's an 11 or 12 day intensive, and they are working from 8 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night with breaks. But within two weeks, they have the equivalent of more than a semester and almost a year if they were taking this type of class at a regular college level. Oh, it's, it's so healthy. It's so good for you. Like, you know, most of the time during the day, I, I teach and I, uh, you know, I have other projects that I work on. And, other things, but I barely get to practice an hour, maybe two a day if I'm ready. But this, my whole job for this whole two weeks is just to practice. Each workshop is pretty much the same. It starts off, they're sort of cautious and they're wondering uh, what are they going to do, what's this whole thing about, what are we going to gain from this. But within a day or two, things start to uh, uh, perk up and students start collaborating with each other and the energy starts to flow and that energy becomes contagious. And that, that, all the guest artists feel it, I feel it, and that's, that's absolutely marvelous. It's been very intense trying to get work done. We've been in the studio all hours of the night working on these things, trying to get them ready for the gallery and just shifting gears every time a new artist comes in. It's been very awesome. Opportunity came to my so I started in 1987, that was the second year, and it was a pretty full-fledged, well-run, exciting operation in 1987. I mean, the class I was involved in was really interesting, had great guest artists, and the other um, courses that were going on were doing great, amazing things. And every year there's been these amazing things, and I feel like over the course of 25 years, it's continued to produce these really interesting classes, interesting guest artists, kind of sometimes unique collaborative um, activities that are going on. And while the actual courses themselves change year to year in their maybe specific focus, they've all been interesting and exciting and worthwhile to participate in. There's a bigger picture for summer arts as well, and, and that is that we're all here, um, like I'm here doing a solo performance course, but then there's also a hybrid narrative course and also a Steppenwolf theater course and a reactive sculpture course, and all of these things are happening um, at the same time, and so they cross-fertilize one another. Such high caliber artists come and perform at Summer Arts and the prices are so reasonable, the community is so inspirational. I was really struck by, uh, I guess, how, how full and energetic they are. I mean, we have so many sellouts during the Summer Arts uh, season and so many people who plan their lives around Summer Arts. I'd say Summer Arts definitely was the inciting incident, if you will, if you want to call, you know, talk about story, and you know, a story always has the inciting incident of what happens, and I think, for me, the inciting incident of me getting into animation was Summer Arts, in a sense. I came out not really knowing if I was really wanted to be into animation or not, but once I made a film at Summer Arts and showed it to somebody, and having the, that kind of reaction, I knew, wow, I really want to do this. I, I want to make films, I want to do stories, I want to animate characters. And it really was a kind of a life-changing moment for me. When I go to recruit students, I tell them, I, the first thing I say is like, if you don't go to Summer Arts, you have no idea what, what you missed. And they all look at me like, yeah, you know. And then I say, if you go one time, you'll, go, you'll leave saying, I can't believe I haven't been going. This is the, unquestionably, the best thing 
the CSU does.